a real brief overview of some of the electrolytes found in the body. Uh, we break these into positive and negative electrolytes. Electrolyte is just an electrically charged particle in the body. Um, cations are positive electrons and anions are negative electrons. Sodium um, is one of the most prevalent ones in the body and definitely in the extracellular fluid. This is due to the sodium potassium pump. We use a phrase, wherever sodium goes, water follows. So wherever high concentrations of sodium go, water follows that. So we use this in the regulation of um, hydration and water. And if our bodies uh, retain sodium, we'll retain water and increase our blood pressure. If our blood pressure is already high, then we try to excrete sodium and therefore try to lose water and lower our blood pressure. And that's why sodium intake is such a concern to someone with hypertension. It's also used in muscle and nerve impulses. Basically, anytime we have electricity moving through the body, we're gonna use sodium and potassium. Uh, the terms that we use to describe this are hypernatremia and hyponatremia for high levels of sodium and low levels of sodium. Potassium is oftentimes associated with sodium because of the sodium potassium pump. Um, it's uh, the most prevalent intracellular cation. Um, and again, because of the sodium potassium uh, function in nerve and electrical impulses, it's important for muscle and nervous uh, contractions. We use the terms hyperkalemia and hypokalemia. Calcium, we use this for, again, muscle and nervous impulses. The terms we use are hypercalcemia and hypocalcemia. Magnesium is used in several places throughout the body in many different chemical, uh, biochemical reactions. Uh, it's an important uh, enzyme in that respect. Uh, terms we use are hypermagnesemia and hypomagnesemia. Chloride, the first of the negative electrolytes or anions, uh, we are used to saying salt as in the form of sodium chloride or table salt. So again, it's oftentimes associated with sodium and it helps to balance all of the positive cations. Uh, we use it a little bit for fluid balance and kidney function. Bicarbonate is the principal buffer in the body and uh, you can look at the acid base lecture for more information about how bicarb is used to regulate pH. Phosphate, it's also a, a buffer. Primarily it's the intracellular buffer instead of the extracellular like, like bicarb is. We use it a little bit for uh, energy stores and oftentimes can be found in uh, association with magnesium. 